All right. What's happening, everybody? I have drug Yoakum out of Hello, time. guys. <laughs> Great to be here. Um, no intro today. I'm just going to get right into it because i uh, expecting uh, Chris, too, from Old World Explorations. And we're just going to hang out and show some melt and whatever else you want to show. So how tell everybody how everything's been, man. So for like four months, uh, you've been out of the uh, making videos and stuff. So how you doing? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. So, you know, I've been very busy with uh, trying to enjoy life the best we can here uh, in this uh, hellscape of a society we live in. You know, I got the family, the kids uh, work here and there and stuff. And, you know, we just try to have fun and then time just flies on. And then we had to move uh, a couple of months ago. And that's a whole less stressful little thing. But we're set up here now, and uh, I do want to, you know, start making videos again. It's just difficult to get back to it once you've been, like, away for a while and stuff. You know how it is, and then something shows up, and, you know. But I've been good, feeling good, feeling healthy and stuff like that, which is what's important. Uh, you know, there's no problems, uh, really. It's just, you know, busy life stuff. And, you know, I've seen people still watching my shit commenting and stuff like that so you know all the stuff i made in the past it's still there going around being passed around and stuff so mm -hmm. so that's good yeah life. good to see life. you guys again and hang out and you know see i'm still alive and you're still alive so that's <laughs> hey i know everybody's <laughs> excited to see you still above ground and that's that's what matters let's see let's see oh so karen Greetings, everybody. Appreciate everybody being here. Yep, he's back. He's back. And I got a fun T-shirt that I like to wear. So it says that one's right. photo, <laughs> hold on, or painting. <laughs> yeah, That's a good one. Fun. Yeah, 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 I got it from Amazon, like $20 or so. It's 100% uh, cotton, so the quality is nice and stuff. I don't like these synthetic blends and shit they make today. So we try to wear just cotton and stuff because it's like natural, not plastic and stuff like that. Yeah, I've got a few shirts that are, they're like sixty percent uh, cotton and what's the other? It's synthetic, but it's so light and airy. I can't remember the. They're comfortable and especially when it's like super hot and mm -hmm. like humid and shit like that. You know, that's uh, they use this for like soccer and stuff like that too. If it's sweaty as shit. Right. I mean, it's, uh, we've had like, what, I don't know, three months. It's been, uh, hot, sweating. Yeah. Um, it wasn't like that last summer. It seems like every summer's different here. Yeah. This is your second one, right? Over here. Yeah. Nice. I don't know what they're doing with the weather. Sometimes it's just, sometimes, you know, it's, it's, all blue skies no chemtrails or anything and it feels cold and then some days it's chemtrail and everything and then it's like 20 degrees warmer and stuff like i don't even know what how it works and right. you know is there a thermostat for the sun simulator and they just crank it up and down sometimes and shit you know i don't i don't know what's going on sometimes with this weather it's, it's been crazy yeah so. they uh they were spraying like hell today uh oh shit off and on they usually take so they took yesterday off they take a lot of sundays off for some yeah. reason it seems yeah. like but it's good hey uh what's up melanie how's it going hi guys oh valdas what's happening hey, valdas yeah hadn't cool, seen him cool. in a while. um he's got some killer stuff he every now and he puts out with his uh eight string guitar it's pretty killer love him uh Love when he does that. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to be really showing a couple of video, new videos I saw, boots on the ground, and a couple other things. Um, okay. No sound. I have no sound. Hmm. Can everybody hear us? 
Might be just Daniel. <laughs> well, I can hear you, so that's yeah a good sign. It was just me. Okay. <laughs> All right, good. Okay. Hey, that's cool. They, they changed so you can log into your YouTube and comment as your YouTube here and not comment as you or whatever as guests on your show and stuff. That's pretty cool. I think that's new. Wait, you can do what now? Comment. I can comment as my YouTube channel on here. Oh, okay. In the past, if I typed, I think they showed up as you typing it or whatever, you know, some weird stuff yeah, like that. So it's, there, there's some changes here. That's cool. Yeah, it was. It, it did that. Uh, it's like when you're a member or whatever of the stream yard, it, it, it would do it under like whoever's it is for some reason. I don't know. So they have changed it. Yeah, there. Yeah, there is a few <laughs> like. Uh, it was really dumb. Like, I don't know why, why they would set it <laughs> up like that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's pretty. It's a pretty new app. It's just a couple of years old or something. So, Chris. Yeah. Hey. Hey, man. What's happening? Uh, I apologize. I can't get my video going. That's my back. That's my virtual background. But I must have vaporized into thin air or something. <laughs> oh shit! Weird. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're uh, you're a little light on the voice too. Oh, interesting. The... I can hear you there. Okay. Okay. How's that better? Oh, that's way oh, better. Yeah. yeah, that's way yeah. better. Yeah. Okay. Well, are you going to introduce us, Mark? Or yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just saying, uh, I drug uh, Yoakum out of a uh, retirement for the last, I don't know, four months or whatever. And uh, but I really appreciate you, Chris, being here too. Uh, try to get you guys together, um, uh, Chris from Old World Exploration, of course. Yeah, we've done a couple of things together and yeah, love his stuff. Please sub his channel and of course you can see but uh just uh very uh just, just great guys um trying to present the truth. And, Thanks, uh, man. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Can I share my story about uh, how I got into meltology? Yes. It's it's all joke, I'm hundred percent. I didn't know who you were marked till like six months later. Um, I started seeing the melt, like seeing it without knowing there was channels out there that existed. And then I sort of, uh, I must have bumped into your stuff, joke them. Um, and so I started watching it and my kids would be sitting next to me watching it. And it's like, what what you were saying was so obvious. What, you know, it's, it's one of those things is like, but to suggest it would mean you're, you're crazy in the eyes of most people around you, right? It's such a weird yeah. state of being. It's like a really, for me, it was like a really like sh in shock um, sta a state. The state I was in was shock, shock for about two, three months straight, just looking at this stuff. No. Yeah, it is crazy. And it's also crazy how obvious it is to some people uh, because I have similar stories like you. I didn't know beforehand, but I just, you know, was messing around on YouTube. And then I clicked on a video uh, that was Jerry. Uh, from oh, when yeah. the buildings cried and i just clicked like what the hell is this guy saying and it took like three minutes of watching you know his crazy ass speaking like he do and stuff and i'm just like oh yeah this is correct yeah. uh so for me it was easy but then other people they can watch like you know for months and months and just still keep shit talking you and stuff you know i don't know how it works sometimes but huh. i'd hate yeah. to be in that state you know to be in that state of being where you just won't accept what your eyes are showing you. I mean, I guess it's a lot of people in our society, but this stuff's yeah. so damn obvious. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't understand how some don't see it. I mean, it's, it's fine. I just, yeah. Um, however long ago it was, I, I just, I was pissed off not knowing and really so many different, um, on YouTube or whatever saying whatever trees, Titans. And then, uh, in my case, I was watching a, this tree guy, and uh, he he mentioned Jerry and uh, and made fun of him for thir like five seconds, maybe. And, and then that's when I turned everything off, got pissed, and started doing boots on the ground. And uh, <laughs> and and I still was like, okay, it's not this, not this, this. And then it just it just clicked. Um, I had to, I really had to watch um, a YouTube channel uh, for a while. 
amazing places on our planet, actually. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it clicked uh, after about five episodes of that. He had, I think he had 200 videos back then. I've watched them like three times each. And then, uh, uh, then that's when I started going out and like, wow. <laughs> like, this <laughs> is, I mean, every, oh, I'm man, blown. <laughs> every, yeah. And, Man, it was it was kind of rough too that that first year just because it's your just heads just going everywhere um, and all and over the place and nobody to talk to and that's why we start these channels and stuff. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Trying to talk to people about it, it 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 was really hard, but it's not anymore. So yeah, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, and it's it's a pleasure to meet you. By the way, joking. You too, Chris. Yeah, thanks for red pilling the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> of yeah. course. Yeah, I like I like to hear that, you know, when people are like, "Oh yeah, shit, uh thanks and stuff," you know, cuz I help people see and Absolutely. You no, know, it's a yeah. good good feeling to be able to yeah. assist and uh you know, I don't know what the future for humanity will be like, but the more people who know what's going on, the better, obviously. Cuz we got to stop this uh, divide and conquer, you know. The UK and everything is crazy over there right now with uh, children being stabbed and everything and all this crazy shit. But yeah. we all have the common same enemies and shit, but people don't realize that. And then we keep fighting each other while they watch from a distance and laugh at us and stuff. So we got to like unite and get yeah. rid of the root of the issue here. And that that is what the truth will do because that's when they will realize, oh shit, there's bigger powers behind all this uh, madness we live in. Yes. Yeah. Well said. I like to say the beast is flailing. We're living in a time where the beast is flailing. I think the beast is doesn't have long, but it it'll take as many within arm's reach as possible if, if we let them. It's kind yeah. of so. We're trying to get them in our nets to, um, to safety, away from away from that whole state of being. You know. Yeah. Yeah, and and seeing this too with any truth, uh, like what what you do, Chris, and. And everybody else, uh, it just it it at least it it makes you think, and 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 then you can start going away from all the the mainstream media stuff and and all that. And, and it's funny, like over the years, you know, I cut everything off, and then um, people were like, "Well, I don't have time to research and stuff." Well, if you if you don't watch any TV and really go to any kind of events or anything, you're Sometimes I'm walking around like, you know, uh, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, um, it, it's weird sometimes. Uh, like I actually get bored, um, uh, and it can't. I can't do this all the time. I mean, I have to lay it down sometimes. And uh, mm -hmm. is, but yeah, I mean, I, I think all these channels are great, and it just makes people think. So. You know, you have yeah. to keep a foot in both worlds, it feels like, you know, it's like the matrix is failing, but you still got to have sort of a toe um, to function in in somewhat of a way, but you have to resist it at every every chance you get to, right? Yeah. 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 So speaking of the matrix, this is random. I went to the grocery store the other day and it was a, I went on a Sunday like a few weeks ago. So long story short, I'm pulling up. I see the same woman doing the same thing in the same dress. And then, oh. I, like, when I pull up, and last time she was leaving, this time she's coming in. Then I go inside, I see these other two people with the same thing on, uh, just because they looked a little different or something. And and it, so, long story short, I saw three different, well, four people wearing the same thing uh, and basically doing the, the same movements and everything. I was, I, I had to leave. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go make sure my house is still yeah. <laughs> shit, man. That yeah, was that's some NPC. Thing. Yeah, that's weird as fuck. I uh, think there are NPCs out there amongst us, like not real, actual humans and shit that's put in here. Mm -hmm. Whatever yeah. they are, uh, soulless or animatronics or whatever they are, uh, I don't think they're real. They're just put in there to look. So it looks like something is going on all the time, but maybe it isn't. You know. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder too if you're still you're still like heavily taking in doses of mainstream media and in that uh, world. I wonder how better how much better the programming is than it was, you know, even five years ago with the, all the AI and everything they can oh my really get under people's skin. You know, if you're still plugged in. 
Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I don't want to get political because people have so split opinions about it, but Kamala Harrison are being caught for photoshopping uh, crowds into her photos and stuff like that, or AI generated or whatever, you know. But for me, politics is just a show, whatever. But if you vote, I hope you know who to vote for out of these two candidates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it, it, I think it goes beyond politics at this point. Right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. I'm convinced AI wrote our history. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I really am. Uh, it, like all these narratives, and you're an expert to, at it, Chris. Um, man, they, they just, they're the same thing, and they use the same names, and they twist them around, and yeah. it's, so, it's so sloppy. Um, yeah, I was thinking about that maybe a year or so ago. I'm like, man, this this AI thing's been out for a long time. Um, and, uh, it's just they recently they gave it to the like access to the to the masses and public and stuff, probably. Yeah, yeah, uh, as yeah. usual. Yeah. Well, um, you want to get into something, Yoakum, or I can do something? Yeah, or... yeah, yeah. Okay, I can show. I just have those twenty photos or so, but you know the. Just grab them real quick and um, let's see if I can find them. So uh, let's see, shit, how to do this again. I know how, don't worry. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I did. Uh, uh, share screen. We, yeah. yeah, I think you can do it on your own actually. Yeah, so what I wanna do is this, I'm pretty sure. So you can see this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, well, it's so not what, in. Yet. Oh, it's not in. No. Can you hit ads? There you go. Yeah. It's on the. Okay, yeah, it's on the thing here. Okay, so this is, this is not about melt, but kind of also, I guess. So me and my wife, we went to uh, Indiana Dune State Park, um, and we stayed there for one night. We just slept in the minivan because we're just two people and one dog. Uh, uh, you know, every other week or whatever, and it's fun van camping. So we went here and we saw Chicago skyline, which was a very famous photo back in the days, like 2018 or so, when when flat Earth came into into place. And we went there and to see it for uh, for ourselves. So from this beach into Chicago, it is 72 miles, apparently, according to maps uh, provided by Google. And then if you take 72 miles on Earth curvature calculator, it's supposed to be 3,456.99 feet of curvature. That's on an Earth with a circumference of 24,909 uh, 901 sorry miles around the equator which is also numbers provided by google hmm. you must have not uh, watched the news when the, the weather came on a few years ago and they showed that and he said it was a mirage yeah right that's the only explanation because they <laughs> even admit this is impossible to see on a globe which is a photo that i forgot to say by the way uh uh but but they say it's possible because the cold air from the lake bends the light around the curve of the earth into the eyes of the observer so this is the willis tower which is the tallest tower in the chicago uh city which is 1451 foot tall so if you go back here and you can see the willis tower here 1451 feet tall behind 3456 feet of curvature how is that possible? So, so, so they say we can see that because the light is bending with the curve and not distorting it. Yeah, it, it kind of bends like around because the cold water uh, draws the light rays like around over the curve and shit and into your eyes and stuff. It's nonsense, but <laughs> people started questioning this stuff. So they had to like, oh, shit, we got to come up with something because this been here forever, yeah. you know. People has always been able to see this, but people probably don't uh, didn't think about measuring this and like how far they just thought, oh, it's just right over there or something. But then they're, they're like, hey, this is way too far away and stuff like that. Nobody questioned it. It was deep yeah. matrix programming, right? Nobody questioned yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. That are, oh, we're that close to Chicago? Well, it's 72 miles over here. So there is no curve on the y-axis or x-axis, which, uh, mm -hmm. you know, this building should be like tilting backwards and stuff. 
mm-hmm. and it should also be you know sideways and stuff but it's not yeah. so this is just proof and it was cool to see it with your uh, own eyes and stuff so we just went over there to to do that and uh yeah here there's some photo i grabbed some from facebook i grabbed some from yandex and it's just uh you know different things different melt and stuff and uh here's one that i found from facebook uh with all these uh openings into the yeah what they call mountains cliffs and stuff you don't think that's the crocodile's head and that's the teeth (laughs) <laughs> sorry <I had> yeah. to... <laughs> well uh, uh, back in the days i would have probably mm-hmm. so here is cool because uh, i mean just see how messed up this whole thing is and and uh, the bricks turning into all these rocks but you know all this water comes from somewhere just keep leaking and stuff from these buildings uh which i obviously think are the plumbing still somehow pumping water through these uh structures and the water just comes out from somewhere and this is good ass water i mean you can drink this it's it's yeah. safe it's all all very pure and clean and stuff so um we have those all over the place in in massive amounts some of the big waterfalls like niagara falls and stuff where where the hell does all this water come from yeah all we have time. a couple we have a couple up here in northern British Columbia and Canada, just sticking out of the mountain every once in every hundred kilometers or so. You'll see one, and people fill up all their water jugs and stuff there. Oh yeah, just, people have put a pipe and like driven it into the mountain, and it's a little fresh natural water. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It it's really good water, and it's not. It don't have these old ass pipes and uh, you know under the cities and stuff like that. All this rusty, full yeah. of chemicals to add into it and stuff. So. It's the best water you can get. And then, you know, if you buy water in plastic bottles, then you have the microplastic leaching into the thing. And, you know, damn, we can't even drink water anymore. Uh, Yeah, just uh, huge ruins here. Like, you just walk in a forest and then this appears. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy. There's some stuff over here. uh, Brick structures lots of trees so this this is just left here nobody like probably knows about it nobody cares about it it's just there nobody asks any questions like what what is this who built this because there's pretty big structures Mm -hmm. just buried there and you know in another thousand years will it even be there anymore the earth will like consume these things yeah when you're indoctrinated you just walk past stuff say oh it's old and you just yeah it's about it i used to do so yeah you'll just think oh this is some medieval you know whatever mm-hmm. oh okay cool and they'll have a plaque that tells you that too yeah, of course <laughs> oh, oh yeah always <laughs> so i grabbed this photo and uh you know there's more water coming here uh huge swelling going on in this area here balloon rocking swelling up and it goes in under here and it's also just really old looking kind of and uh obviously it's brick that's been uh transformed into different shapes and sizes which happens during cataclysmic events like this and it's also difficult to replicate on a smaller scale unfortunately Mm -hmm. uh but maybe we can one day who knows we just need a shit ton of electricity or something we'll definitely need some bricks too (laughs) <laughs> yeah and some bricks so here another one i saw and i just see all this water just like coming from somewhere uh under here whatever this wall archway is and uh this keeps going you know every day of the year pretty much uh like even if it don't rain for weeks it just keeps coming a lot of water out of some of these places so where is the water coming from uh is the question uh people have to ask um because they always say well it's leftover rainwater that's accumulating and and then you know has to go somewhere and then melting snow and all that stuff but if it's not then uh sometimes there's like tall straight cliff sides with like a waterfall or whatever and there's no lakes or anything nearby and it just comes uh, keeps pumping water out so where does this water come from? <clears throat> Another right. one. 
old right. structure, very old uh, remains, I think, from the past humanity. And this one is also just here. So this is probably on some hiking trail in the forest. And you walk over here. Is that a, is that a plaque here? <laughs> 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 might be, yeah. You might be right. Uh, just in case you wonder what this is, uh, of course, they have an explanation. Uh, they went they went cheap and put a wood plaque there <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so this these things are just all over the place and uh you know uh back in norway as well when i went hiking there in the woods and stuff you just see this this uh short walls with balloon rocks and stuff like pretty much anywhere you can go and stuff and they say the the official narrative for these things are like oh uh yeah it was farmers back in the day uh so they had farms in the middle of nowhere into the forest with sheep so they used they stacked all these fucking rocks for miles and miles around to keep sheep inside and then you can just walk over them like no problem whatsoever and stuff so i found that fascinating once i learned about metallurgy about these rocks in a long line in the forest and stuff like what mm -hmm. what is it and i don't think someone carried them on their shoulder and just built like that in the middle of nowhere i wouldn't want to that's for sure uh, yeah i wouldn't <laughs> want to either <laughs> so i saw this one uh very interesting little thing so it's a brick thing here some bricks over there and water and it falls down here and then it looks like someone attempted to find a way to collect it and lead it somewhere for their benefit and then of, of course you have these structures that just all over the place with the bricks um, obviously very damaged and transformed some into rocks here you got them into blocks and uh yeah look at this mess obviously nobody built like this and uh I don't think just rain and wind did this to the buildings. No, it's not possible. Say. It's not possible to change the state of matter. Just, yeah. A little bit of water and, and wind. <laughs> <laughs> so here, the bricks, some of them are just disintegrated. They're just like gone. Like how, how the hell does this happen? Uh, is this wind too doing this and just selecting which bricks to like, okay, I'm going to fuck this brick up, but this one can be fine. That's fine. You know, that's the selective uh, nature of erosion, I suppose. So Are yeah, some of them are just gone. Look, it's just hollow in here now. Yeah. You see uh, like in the family, in your, fa in, in your personal family or something that uh, there's a brick building and it's, it's a hundred years old or something. And you know that it was built by the family or whatever. And, the brick hasn't changed yeah. at all. Yeah. And then you have these 150 year old buildings, they say, or whatever, and say they look like this, like, okay, so what happened here? Those, those, those 50 years just all of a sudden did that, you know, right. it's going to look fine in a hundred, but in 150, it, look, it looks like this. It's just total BS. Yeah, good point. Yeah. And it just looks like scorched, and you know it's also cracked through here and stuff that requires a lot of force of some kind to just crack a thick ass this is mm -hmm. like seven layers thick walls of brick and mortar how do you just crack that you know yeah. and uh it's the mixed mediums that's the a big giveaway right when you start to see like rocks and bricks and boulders there's no yeah. logic you have to do mental gymnastics to make that fit you know? yeah the the only thing people say to like uh convince us that that's what's going on they they say um it's modern repairs so it can keep staying up for tourism and shit so that's why there's bricks all over randomly in there like oh we gotta slap some bricks up there so it don't collapse and shit that's what people say <laughs> stupid shit like that that's pretty weak weak yeah. sauce we call that here <laughs> yeah sauce. Yeah, <laughs> this one is pretty cool. Just this um, uh, war... arch to nowhere, right? Arches to nowhere and arches to nowhere. Uh, pretty big too, and it's like fused into the rest of this structure here, which we call mountains now. 
and uh, like who built this and why like was it so super important to go from nowhere to nowhere mm. that you needed a bridge thing <laughs> right there <laughs> Logic, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, we really have to go over there every day. So we got to build this shit. <laughs> It'll take us three generations to get it done, but we'll get her. <laughs> right. You won't see it finished. You'll be dead. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and here is another one of these, uh, they call them aqueducts and stuff. Um, I don't know the original purpose, but it's massive. It's, it's enormous. It's sometimes just in the middle of nowhere uh a, a lot a lot of bricks had to be used to build this and like why and who i mean are these like we're told that like stupid back in the day and stuff but they can build these massive massive things like that don't make sense there's a car over here in the distance uh and uh yeah it kind of looks buried it just goes into the earth here yeah. No. In the middle of nowhere with, you know, back then they tell us that horse and wagon, of course, and all that. It's just, yeah. where do they get all the blocks and bricks and everything? And they're just going to come out in the middle of nowhere and do something like that. To pull them out of their ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A whole factory up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. At the top of the mountain. <laughs> That's the real gay agenda. <laughs> Shit. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, 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 that's fine. I like jokes. I like to laugh. They <laughs> say a good laugh will uh, lengthen your life or something. It's I healthy for you. It's good for you. And it's difficult to laugh in this hellhole. So yeah. uh, here you see three of these things. And they've been like melt flooded here, it looks like to me. All this melt and rubble and ashes just coming down, bearing these kind of things mm. up the hill. So, who knows what it looked like before the cataclysm? Must have been a pretty incredible sight. A Tower of Babel type thing. Obviously. Yeah. This one is weird. I don't know why it's still standing. But... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a petrified hedgehog? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Correct. yeah. <laughs> I can see its eyes. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, look at this. Yeah. So it's you know all mangled cooked out bricks i don't think the earth just spawns and puts this shit here and then they come with the ice age nonsense and stuff no, i don't think so yeah. so it looks like you know all this brick ash was like the liquid melt and it started like uh eating away at the bottom here before you know it stopped the heat and the event just stopped and eventually it densified because all this is like brick ash all this sand and and stuff like that buildings in the past this this place got hit really really hard yeah north africa i think yeah yeah the, the deserts now weren't deserts that long ago for sure yeah and then uh, at the end of my search i was like shit i want to look up some old photos and stuff because that's interesting uh so supposedly um uh, this is after and during the first world war. Uh, and none of us were around at that time to even um, document or confirm what happened or not. But this, some of these photos looks like they're way older uh, and it kind of looks like this is the state they found shit in uh, during this takeover uh, transition and stuff. Who knows, could have been bombed like they claim or it could have been this is how they found them after the cataclysm. Yeah, I don't exactly. even think they rebuilt those. I did a video on that place, the cloth hall and cathedral. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know because if you look at the buildings that stand today, they look like they're hundreds of years old, and there's no pictures or documentation of the rebuild process at all. Right. So it's yeah. like what, we what's had photo cameras since like the 1870s or 80s or something. Yeah, even but, before they, that too, sometimes. It was supposed to be in the th in the 30s to the 60s that they rebuilt that cathedral. Do you think they would have video, for fuck's sake? Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. You think. You think. <laughs> yeah. So here is another one, and it just looks fucking old, and, like, the landscaping hasn't been done, and, you know, it just looks, like, way older that it's been like this for a long time. It don't look like this was, you know, a whole ass city uh alive and then it just get bombs during a war and stuff it looks way older to me 
but I mean, I might be wrong, but that's just what my intuition and senses tell me that this, this is not just some bombing recently. And, uh, no. this is the remains of it. It's just old. So second world war, who knows what happened? None of us are alive. That was there. Um, and yeah, look at this. Supposedly, this is just the bombings and the war. Uh, but look at everything around. I mean, there is mm -hmm. everything just looks too old and it's overgrown. It's overgrown. Old, overgrown. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they they had to have like landscapers and stuff, and so it's been like this for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. That's just my thought. So. You know, maybe on my next show or video or something, I'll pull up some old photos and ask some questions and shit. I'm not saying I know all the answers, but I do know a lot of questions. So, yeah, makes, that's that's it, it my makes, 20 photos. It makes me think, like, how many people really were left over um, to uh, left over from the cataclysm. Uh, how long did it sit there before you know, whatever mm -hmm. happened after that and repopulated and all that? But did it all happen at once? I think there's like aftershocks. What do you? What's your take on that, guys? To me, I think maybe maybe a bit, big parts of the Earth were hit at the same time. I don't mm -hmm. know. Could have been sections, continental sections. Could have been two, three, four, five events. But I, I think it was like one, maybe two meltdowns, probably one, but who knows? All part of the same one, maybe. That, that's yeah. kind of how I see it, too. Yeah, like a total realm reset cataclysm or uh, catastrophic uh, sabotage of some kind. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, the way they control things today, as we see, um, yeah, one, one big cataclysm and then, and then they can control especially probably back then whenever it happened and they could do whatever and not really you know, bat an eye and get rid of some of the stuff but there's there's just too much stuff to get rid of really um but that's it it's, they'd have to get rid of everything really yeah yeah they're just banking on us not waking up but they probably know that we're going to wake up too so it's just yeah a, it's, 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 it's so inevitable I mean, it looks like when you lie about anything, like a major lie, and you keep putting lies on top of lies on top of lies. I mean, it's you're going to find out something. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it's just gotten so ridiculous with all the the indoctrination and in, in their narratives and stuff. And then when people actually look, it's like, damn, man, I waste a lot of time doing that shit. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> in school, as far as you know, uh, school, which I never liked it, but. Uh, yeah, they've been using technology on us now for a hundred years too, right? Using their technology to keep us mm -hmm. um, from waking up, from being, from remaining in our subconscious rather than a conscious state. Yeah. So apparently they're gonna build a train on the moon with tax dollars, <laughs> or so, from a from a weapons contractor, and like, okay, yeah, that's that's exactly what we need right now. It's a good idea. Yeah. 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 <laughs> For the, <laughs> the whole wall spirit. is collapsing and nobody can survive anymore and, you know, can't afford anything uh, essential and stuff. And then, oh, we need a fucking moon train, you know. Yeah. It, like it's, 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 it's the ultimate look over there. Yeah. Over, yeah. You know, yeah. and, and it's yeah. called money laundering. Yeah. <laughs> that too. <laughs> well, we got to send 100 million to, you know, whatever to, to build a train on the moon. Yeah. Well, I think the whole space right. thing is in trouble, right? NASA yeah. represents yeah. in trouble right now, big time. I think so too. People are catching up, I think, and <laughs> people are realizing how little, even if it was real, how little it fucking matters what's going on out there when they yeah. see the state of this place and how everything is crumbling and all the chaos and uh, crime and killing and and all this madness going on. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, okay, fuck Mars. We got to fix this place first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just movies, right? Most of it is yeah. movies. People have to it get is. programmed intensely yeah. with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Well, yeah. Disney and NASA are the yeah. same, right? Disney and NASA are, yeah. are bed buddies, whatever you want to call it. 
We have a sticker on the rear window of our uh, minivan, and it says uh, "Lies" in the NASA logo. It's pretty fun, and the plate says "NASA Lie." It's pretty fun too. <laughs> <laughs> did you get a tri- Did you trigger anyone? Did you ever, ever trigger anyone with that? Uh, just one that uh, claimed. Um, okay, there's two. There've been there've been three reactions because of the plates, and we had them for over a year, a year and a half almost. So one said we were stupid because he worked for nasa whatever he did on his computer i mean damn who cares <laughs> and there was another one that pulled up at the red light on our left side and he's like oh yeah yeah it's all flat and stuff like that you know and it's pretty cool and then the other day this is the craziest one okay so there is a, a i think a three trio couple so they're uh, the alphabet soup people Two of them were dudes appearing as females, mm-hmm. and one of the dudes appearing as a female held the other one with a dog leash while they mm-hmm. wore, walked. They had skirts on and stuff, and they went over there for like an hour or so, and then they came back, and then he saw the plates on the minivan, one of them, he, she, whatever, and uh, he said, NASA lie. Oh, these these people gotta be flat earth uh, flat earthers. I forgot these kind of people existed, and then they kept walking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, look at yourself. They You're have a thing against your boyfriend, people. girlfriend with a fucking dog leash. I mean, what what's wrong with these people? That's an <laughs> abomination. <laughs> well, it's, it's manifesting in our reality. People are letting the demons manifest their identities. Because yeah, that's crazy. Not- if you don't wake up, I think that's where you're going. You exit this reality, or you manifest in that form, and eventually you exit anyway. You know, yeah. it's terminal. It's a terminal way of thinking. There's no future in it. Any of that. Yeah. That's the first go to too for people like it. I'm talking about say melt the buildings or something. Are you a flat earther? I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm talking about bricks. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they just they just go to the whole flat earth thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's unrelated just... at this point. Like, hey, what the fuck? We're talking about this melt. Yeah. yeah. I don't know but why. Every it's a trigger time... consciousness trigger mechanism mechanism, I think, though. Yeah. You know, it's at, that's the that's the switch they turn off, right? Until they jump right to the switch, they, they can safely turn everything else off that you say. Yeah. If you, you know I think I, mean? it, I think it might scare them too, like if mm-hmm. with the melt mm-hmm. building stuff, and then mm-hmm. they, so they don't because it's here and you can see it and touch it, and I'm showing it to them, and then they just say flat earth. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, I was I was there. I, I was on board with every con, every conspiracy theory except for um, flat Earth. But before I even knew about meltology, and I kept saying, "Well, that's just a psyop to make all the other uh, um, conspiracies look stupid," you know. And then you realize uh, I was being ignorant. I wasn't actually taking in the information and looking at it objectively, because it only takes a minute, maybe two. Like uh, Jokim showed his picture of the Chicago skyline. If any rational thinking human being that sees that, and you, when you put the numbers up, should come to the conclusion that there's something wrong here. Yeah. Right? So, so it's like uh, either the globe Earth is like a thousand times bigger than what they say, or it's simply just flat, like like our senses tell us. I think there there's some sort of cabalistic sphere magic going on with the with the, what they set up in our solar system. Like I, I think there's an actual physical magic they've been work, using to control our consciousness, and they use that as a part of the framework, like the backbone of their matrix system. Yeah, you know, I agree. Because yeah. I, I looked into it a little bit at like the turn of the century, and the first one of the first movies was the Void, the Trip to the Moon. You've probably seen it, where there are a bunch of um, professors and they turn into wizards and they're looking through the telescope and they send a ship to the moon and there's martians that was like 1902 or something right like yeah yeah i think i've seen that so that was the, i think that was one of the early setting of the narrative for people like if you'd never seen a movie before and you're you're going to see the first movie you've ever seen and that's what it is yeah it's like uh that's a hell of a program wow right. yeah. yeah i wonder how long they planned this shit for and and when they introduced all this you know, did they did they think about the heliocentric deception before they potentially sabotage this whole place with the cataclysm and all? And like, oh shit! If we reset this place, we can introduce them to this globe and set up this uh, perfect slave system. Or like, who who the hell came up with this shit? I mean, that they probably. Be... I would assume they had a plan in place, especially if they had a hand in in, in inducing the cataclysm. 
Um, yeah. Like, it, you know, it gets into the millennial reign, you, uh, you know, the theory where people are saying Satan, Satan's been loosed. Um, I, I don't think it's like, okay, what do we do now? Okay, let's set up. I think there's a framework um, involved with the with the hijacking of our consciousness, you know, and I think that's a, one of the backbones for sure. Yeah. And they had to lay out the false history, you know. Uh, I took, obviously, it took a long time. and They had to get schooling systems set up and they had to actually physically use technology like radio and television to to pull this off. And yeah. it's still failing. Even <laughs> all the way down the line, they're still failing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think the major school system didn't start to what the early 1900s or something. I can't, I can't remember. Like, yeah, which is funny because in a lot of my research, I see schools from the 1870s and 1880s and 1890s, and they're like little castles. It doesn't matter what city or town you're looking at. You know, there's there supposedly were schools everywhere, but the schooling system people hadn't really. It was World War One really that shook people up into a new way of uh, um, existing, as far as, as far as we know. And then World War Two, I think, was the hammer. The hammer was like the was the fucking was the cudgel on the top of the head, World War Two, mm -hmm. and then the wiping out of history. And you don't talk about the past. You don't talk about the war. Here's the here's the here's the future. Just look at the future, and then they can, you know, subvert us with a false history. Yeah, World War Two was major. Like there was major yeah. stuff going on everywhere. If you really mm -hmm. research the different countries, and uh, what they were doing, um, that was that was the the line in the sand almost of destroying stuff and and taking over uh this whole place basically so which they but, continued throughout the century too and uh, you know like with using the western powers as, as the as the muscle you know you have the communist takeovers of the major areas of the world like china and uh russia and uh they have cambodia what happened there that was like an overt erasing of history in cambodia with paul pot mm -hmm. they just went out and they, they killed all the people uh, all the grown-ups who knew anything about anything and let the kids yeah. run the show it's like yeah. well that's pretty obvious right yeah. out of the flies it's i don't know no oh. they're not on our side that's for sure they're not on our side no. <laughs> that's yeah. for sure um yeah. all right i guess i'll get into uh just a little bit while i was on the show it's okay guys and uh mm -hmm. let's see here I'm just going to use the restroom uh, real quick. Yeah, man. Let's see here. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> nice. And let's see. Yeah, I just um, I saw this about a week ago. This is totally accurate right here. Mm -hmm. This is just a little bit of truth right here. Everything else is <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> It's so basic wanted... the way they present history, too. Sorry, go ahead. I didn't mean to. Oh, no, go ahead. I'm just saying it's so basic the way that they lay out history for us in the schooling system. They don't yeah, want us to know that. Just give us a date and a person's name and move on to the next thing. Yeah, I mean, that's it. And it's and for me, which I know probably a lot of people, it was so boring just because of that reason. It's yeah. like the same story over and over again. It's like, all right, man. I mean, how do these people not change for all these years? And all of a sudden now we're the smart ones. Yeah. It's just, it just made no sense. Get this <laughs> off here. I just want to do, <clears throat> I got like three or four things real quick. It, so I've been to this uh, star Fort. This is the last one I went to. And um, this was supposed to be the battle of mobile Bay. And I got a comment. Uh, I don't know few days ago i think scott pike or something and um he was mentioning that well there should be like thousands of cannonballs everywhere um so i looked it up and of course you know you have all these cannons everywhere and depictions you know pow pow <laughs> and and i'm and i mentioned i'm just like okay maybe there was a fight but i personally don't think so so i looked up how many across the whole um coast of alabama and florida there's like four uh one two three three star forts right there and and some other forts and there was a hurricane a few years ago that that brought up all this debris i got one more picture there these are supposed to be cannonballs uh, but there's only been a few hundred like found uh and there was two, i think in this hurricane there was like a couple of hundred that people picked up because they were all up on shore and stuff I'm not sure what hurricane it was, but the point is, um, okay, cannonballs don't explode. 
um, as what Google says. <laughs> They're just projectiles. Um, and that's another thing. I've never seen a cannonball hole in any fort I've been to, and I've been to a few. Ah, good point. They just and, cast iron, right? Right. They're just they're just supposed to what it says. They're just supposed to they say kill the men and horses or whatever. It's like a bullet. Um, but that, that just just lead or whatever. Um, and of course, back in the day, they said it was stone or. But so the point is is these look very almost rocky but um blobby and of course they're connected and you know you could say they were in the ocean or whatever for a while but here so okay here's a better clear shot of some of those same ones but you're having it's like a blob here like how did the cannonballs turn to this when they're just supposedly shot out and they don't explode and and these have some kind of acting over them metal looks like mm -hmm. um and different sizes I, these are just two picks that i got but that i saw some other ones and they're all different sizes and that that doesn't really make any sense to me either um i just right. uh that, that, you know we're indoctrinated with the cannonball theory and yeah we we you see him shoot some but it, it just doesn't make any sense why to me why they look like this um all right so switching subjects here i'm going to play a video and we'll go through it kind of quick it's like a nine minute video it's fairly new i saw pictures of this place um let's see let me go i'm gonna go back to that so this is i guess it's in europe somewhere i think it's called the cowbell uh quarry it's a uh, limestone Let's see uh lime so what they're saying here is there was these kilns built whenever they they doesn't really specify when the all these kilns and stuff were built and then all these companies came together and then in 1908 they just put this um this cement structure on top of it and a highly unusual neo-Egyptian style. So they're saying this was all here and they can't distinguish when it was built. And then they put all this on top of it. Now, now you see the video and it's, I wanna make, I wanna make, pay attention if you can to, let me go back a little bit, to how far at the end of this and you have this much and rails and this much and of course that's all you get it in the video it doesn't look it only goes like here and it drops off it looks like and you'll see in a minute but of course when they give you these construction photos this is all they give you it's done basically and there's cranes um let's see here's i just there's just a couple of pictures and i'll go to the video but it's very interesting how, how, why does this all look this bad? And this doesn't. And uh, this place is humongous. It's the whole entire hill. There's structures everywhere. Um, and you see what the, the blocks here look like. But there's brick all in it. Um, and, it and just the construction of what they're saying, too, is really weird. Um, why you would do any of this. Uh, let's see if this is the last picture and I'll go to the video. This is in, there's a bunch of tunnels and they have these, whatever they are. I, I don't, they, they say that they were kilns uh, for the limestone, but, but the transitioning from this block and rock to this brick, it's, it's very, what do you say? Suspicious. So I'm gonna go. See. Yeah, they look mangled. Yes. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I gotta pull this over real quick. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, it's not it. I do this. Where is this again, Mark? I missed that. It's um. Uh, what's the? 
I think it's the, the video. I'm about to pull it up, and he doesn't say where it's at. Um, you can look. I think it's in Europe. I'm, uh, why isn't this working? Oh, sorry, guys. Let's see. It's pretty heavy construction there, for sure. Crazy. Like that one the picture he had before there. All right. Uh, there you go. Yeah, are y'all y'all not seeing this video, are you? No. Okay. Okay, I'm just about to do this right here. Can you see it now? Not yet. Okay. Let me back out. Technical difficulties. That looks like a footprint that uh, giant. Oh, that, okay. Now we're. See, I couldn't see any of this. Start screen. Why is it just letting me share? All right, I think we're finally there. How about that? Yes, we can see it now. Okay. I'm just going to run through it a little bit. Here, beginning here. All right. So, obvious huge blocks and just total destruction. And there'll be tunnels after tunnels. But uh, can you can you post a link to this in the chat? Uh, yes, uh, for credit and so people can uh, look look up the channel if they want to. Yeah, it's uh, let me. It's not a very old video. Actually, I'll do it when. Uh, yeah, it's uh, this channel here. Oh, I will link it. I'll actually I'll just put it in probably the description box um, when I'm when we're done. Oh yeah, that works. But yeah, his description it, it's in a it doesn't say where this is at. Uh, it just says the name of it, and I I can't remember the the country it's in. Crazy looking construction though. Those big buttresses coming down out the yeah. there. But I'll stop it here in a second. Um, and I've really never seen those before. Have y'all? Those type of whatever they're calling them. Uh, no. Kilns. Or, I mean, they call them the limestone for limestone kilns. But, but just all this around the brick and into the big blocks. And then have two, they, two narratives on this, I think, because it looks so much so different um i could be wrong i could have built all this this concrete looking stuff but i don't think so once you get up the the destruction of it is insane um, like why but, would you why, yeah why yeah right so reinforcing a highway above or something like it doesn't make sense it's a massive well, it would be a massive construction project I, I know it looks like an interstate right the whole interstate yeah of that's what it reminds me of yeah let's go And that whole hill behind it, it just, there's just more uh, structure. Okay, here's what I was saying. And I don't, let me go back. Let me put it right. It doesn't look that far from the ends of these to over here. In that, in that construction black and white picture, they had buildings and stuff over here, like wooden buildings. But 
<clears throat> it looks pretty close. So mm -hmm. trees are young too. All the trees around it look like they're yeah. 30, 40, some a little older, I guess, but not that old. And go up the hill, <clears throat> up the hill. All right. Let's see. So now he's kind of on top of it. And they just keep going up the hill, these structures. Hmm. But now that narrative says basically that they only did the concrete looking stuff in three sections where he was on the bottom. But, yeah, but you have all this kind of huge blocks and you see little pieces of brick all in this, mm -hmm. um, this construction here. Wow. Yeah, it's a crazy place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw pictures on this thing like a year ago. Just there's not many uh, when you look it up online. And all of a sudden, this video came in my feed like a week ago. Some of these uh, structures are like out in the forest and nobody knows about them and they're not marked on any like google maps or anything they're just like there <laughs> so it's not yeah. a huge like uh attraction for explorers and stuff we this just don't know it's there crazy complex this is crazy mm. yeah wow yeah he was saying i think that there's really nothing on it, it you know it's nobody really goes there it's just in the woods on the top of a hill I'd probably spend about a week there, but just yeah. that tunnel there, it's just all different. And, and when it comes around this corner, I think that's where it is too, that these, the, what looks like concrete um, next to each other. One's, uh, oh, you can see like one is, well, he's all over the place a little bit. Wow. Look at that wall. Yeah. Huge wall like this right there. Like, this is still intact, and then this was just totally gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That blobby mess right there. Erosion. It's on. It's see. It's <laughs> raining. That's what rain does. Yeah. <laughs> Corrosive. Acid rain. <laughs> that was a 1980s thing wasn't it or early 90s it, yeah yeah i vaguely remember it i vaguely remember it yeah yeah i i remember turning on the three stations we had and they uh they were i mean they were hammering it for like six months or something acid rain acid rain <laughs> protect your cars do all this it was probably one of the climate change things they were oh definitely stepping yeah. stone yeah, yeah. And that's basically it but yeah like just an incredible things. structure um there's some pulleys or something there too yeah, yeah. Oh, weird you know it's way bigger than what you can see too you can just tell yeah oh yeah the cameras lie <laughs> in the uh i don't know if anybody's put it in the uh description box but okay we're gonna go to this one um where is this i've only seen pictures of this and this is a very recent video i'll put it in the uh description too but i've never seen inside of it and this person goes all inside of it i just want to go to a few points uh but this is supposed to be what it says is right pre-world war ii um and so they're gonna have to burrow all this out <laughs> And it, I mean, it looks just totally, it, this, even this one up here is sideways. Um, so just to get the scope of it before it goes in and then I'll fast forward. It's like a 30 minute. Uh, this is high it, up there. Yes. What are you supposed to defend from there? Like what are they supposed to attack <laughs> up know. there? Like them. <laughs> it's the very top of this supposed mountain. This. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, what are you protecting up there? 
So I guess just keep in mind 19, I even give them 1930s. Let's, let's going to go chisel all this out or blow it all up. And then we're going to just make huge tunnels. And this is all made. And make brick. them real nice too. Yeah. And they're just tunnels and little bitty rooms for, it seems like miles. Uh, yeah. and, and we're going to see how all this, what you're looking at is made of brick. Uh, once I get to that part, let's see. Damn, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. It really, I watched this whole thing. I just, he just keeps walking upstairs, downstairs, uh, into rooms. Where is that? I thought I had this. You see some red there, but it, it's better. That's the showers in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I missed it. No, I didn't. So here. There we go. So you're, you're just over and over with all these bricks, uh, internals. Um, it's just got an outer, outer uh, coating on it, covering. Mm -hmm. so when do you have time to just even blow all this up to even build this? Um, as far as go, this is all inside the mountain. Yeah, that, that's nuts. Yeah. And like, what purpose would this have served? Right, they're just small little square rooms. Every prison of some sort. Like it's it's weird. Then you have to bring all the materials, mm -hmm. even if and build this. In a war, while you're still... being attacked. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like. Wow. However many thousands of feet up. Right. Yeah, it just goes on forever. Like the whole mountain is, suppose a mountain is burrowed out, basically. I'm going to go to one more part. It's right here. Well, let me go back. These bricks... And then you start getting stuff like this, these brick looking things with the holes in them, just mm -hmm. rubble here is weird. I, I've seen those type of bricks, but not many. And down here, mm -hmm. this is just all different. Why is it messed up like that? Yeah. Why, why does it look like that? right there like it's supposed to be normal bricks but this is not normal bricks they're mm -hmm. all pancaked or whatever mm -hmm. uh, they're not uniform in size that's for sure no which bricks are supposed to be that's the advantage of working with bricks that must be <laughs> the vandals coming all the way in there with a sledgehammer <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> modifying it reinforcing it for tourism down the road yeah <laughs> 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 oh my god commercial let's see and they've got a lot of these uh, and usually when you when you look out these windows and stuff the, the mountain the rock the building is in the way to do anything kind of to the right you can only i guess shoot to the left wow. of that other huge mountain over there i mean yeah wow yeah yeah, yeah. that makes sense Crazy. Let's get out of here. It's amazing just how much there is. It really know, is. It keeps um, coming. <laughs> this is just a short, this is all in some other language. So I don't know where this is at, but I don't know if y'all have seen this, but it's crazy. Oh. All I see is melted on top. Damn. Yep. 
Like, wow. What else did you think? Like, I mean, this rock is even not even touching the ground. It's all the way across. It's like a halfway in between what we call natural caves and, and the building. Oh. Mm -hmm. Weird. Uh, on like stalactite, stalagmite looking. And then um, I'm sure they have a narrative about it. About you know, a long time ago, they just built all these blocks and stuff in it. But... Monks, I think. <laughs> Monk. Usually monks, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> But yeah, it just keeps going. It's pretty incredible. That that first part is just was amazing when I saw it. That's me. Let's see here. Let's get out of here. I have let's see. Just a few picks. I just grab this first. Okay. Nice. Lost my train of thought. Okay. So 87 people in here. Thanks for coming, guys. Oh, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's not the one I wanted. These are just a few in Afghanistan. I love the stands. And uh, just good examples as far as it's melting. Um, a building that is melted. See it. I, all this here, as we say, of course, here at the channel and many other channels, this is all structure back here. This makes no sense why you would do any of this um, on the side of the mountain. Mm -hmm. And here you, you see the bricks in the supposed rock and stuff too it's just a mangled mess there's bricks everywhere remember they when they said bin laden was in a cave in afghanistan yeah. maybe mm -hmm. it was a pretty sweet cave maybe it was like an old world building <laughs> cave right i'm sure it probably had a swimming pool and everything in it, right? for sure yeah water <laughs> right <laughs> wow yeah. Yeah, I, I love this place. Yeah. Yeah, Afghanistan. That's nuts. You could. It's amazing. You can see it in the foreground, and the background is almost identical. But it's yeah. what we we'd be told is natural. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you see all the little pieces just like up here everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as I can see, I mean, there's buildings here. Some of. I mean, why would you build that up here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's total destruction. Just more bricks. You can see it you know, dripping. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been to three hundred, supposed three hundred million, six hundred million year old places that they say, and, and the outside of the walls look like this, um, just dripping. How do you know those aren't the skin cells on an ancient elephant? Giant. Well, elephant. I did for about two weeks, about four years ago. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> You gotta stay open minded here, Mark. Come on. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Tell those people you do you, I guess. So I mean, mm -hmm. don't don't mm -hmm. mind all the bricks everywhere. No. But, uh, anyway. And just like this here from the top, it's just all coming down, melting down. You know, a lot of these places too, especially all the stands, they, I don't think they get a lot of rain. Um and so, like the weathering, it just yeah, it just it makes no sense, of course. Um, if it's not the rain, it's the wind. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, like here. Wow. It's just scattered. Yeah. Little bits of building still left over, pockets of survival. The detailed building. Very detailed that is too. Like little decorations, you know. It's like yeah. <laughs> makes no sense. No. Yeah, we're going to do all this, you know, ornate stuff to these out in the middle of nowhere. But. 
I think that's it. Where was I? Uh, right here. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I just had a few of those things. Um, the show. Uh, well, I was going to show some old stuff, but I ran into those. So I figured I'd just show that. It's um, good. Thank you for, for you. sharing. Yeah. Yeah. It was amazing, actually. Some of that stuff. Like the shape of those structures that those people are exploring. You know, and like the house, how huge they are. It's hard to wrap your head around, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, and those people walking around, they just, just like I would be four or five years ago, they, just, they had no clue. And they even ask questions like, man, how is this possible? What is this? Well, we they don't yeah. tell us anything. We don't know really the year they're building it. They, we don't have construction photos. So you're just yeah. in the, in the, in the, you're blind basically. They often ask the questions and then they uh, kind of sh shrug it off. So it's like a natural question to ask, you know, but then they move on to the next really without thinking about what they're asking. Right. Right. The well, sense are sort of conflicting with their minds and stuff. Yeah. What they're seeing is obvious, but mm -hmm. what, they, what they're told about a place is completely different. So you're, you're always seeing cognitive well. dissonance. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't know where to start. I mean, that's the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys want to see some of yeah. mine? Do you have time? Of course. Yeah. Got time. Okay. This is from a uh, couple of years of uh, of poking around. Like after, like I said, after watching um, Tartarian Meltdown and the documentaries, um, I thought I was getting pretty good at uh, seeing it. So I would go around on Google Maps and I would uh, save images of random places. It's, and you find it everywhere, too. It's, it's amazing, actually. Yeah. You know. It's all your fault, too, Yoakum. My, <laughs> You're welcome. My, <laughs> <laughs> my kids will say it, Yoakum. My kids will say, it. it's all just melted buildings. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's beautiful, yeah. though. Yeah, that's great. Love, keep oh, passing yeah. it on and, and, and stuff. That's how we break this uh, curse of uh, brainwashing and shit. Yeah, it's it's natural to see what you're seeing for sure. You want us yeah. like this, Chris, or on the bottom? No, I just fine. Is that right? Okay, yeah. go back to that. Whatever you want, I, I'm good. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, this is just my random um, what I what I perceive to be uh, post cataclysm remains, unless uh, you really needed to build a bridge over this chasm, you know, and melt it into the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing that it stands too. The structure of the arch is so strong, you know. Yeah, I think that's why we see a lot of archways, obviously, because they're so strong. Yeah, they're left over. Could be. Uh, I mean, the do the dome of the Earth as well. If it's yeah. a dome, I'm I'm not sure, but it could be. And if it's mm -hmm. a dome, it's the same shape. It's very very strong. Mm -hmm. Like perfect, perfect shape. Yeah. Yeah. You probably know this. This looks like Turkey, somewhere in Turkey, I think. I'm not sure, though. Looks like it, yeah. Yeah, it looks very much like uh, Turkey. Yeah. You see these all over the place over there you know, in different forms. Th there's the coloring, too, that's a giveaway. You get this sort of grayish charcoal, and then you get the light, uh, I don't know, what do, we, what do you call that? Like a beige, almost a reddish beige. You get that in combination yeah. a lot, those two colors, you know? Yeah, and yeah. also the detailing and why would you uh, would you need to carve these things? Like spend a lot of time with the detailing and all that, and it's pretty much just a little opening. You can just fit like one human in there. It's green storage. So why do you have to make it so pretty and all that stuff? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's where you just store your food. It doesn't make sense, right? The, the yeah. narratives they attach to these things is ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> how, how about this one? How do you like this one? Oh my God! Yeah, the building's puking. <laughs> Come puking out of here, hey! Eh? You can see it. Yeah. You can still see the brick here, and down here. You know, and you can go walk around this area too. And all this, even yeah, I think was was all was all the same. Mm 
It's all uniform. You wouldn't make these things with cobblestone because uh, with the with the horses pulling you on those wooden wheels without shocks and stuff like that, and the horse itself had to walk on this, uh, they'll mess up their feet and it's a very bumpy ride. It's not pleasant at all. So they have these beautiful, gorgeous, massive buildings, and then uh, the roads are just so shitty. It don't make sense to me at all. Yeah, the wagon wheel maker was was doing really well. Right? Yeah. Whoever made made the wagon wheels, because those things would have been busting all over the place too. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Love this one. I'd love to go there. This would be a fun place to go check out. I think. Yes. You know. Yeah. That's like twenty six hours away from here, or something like thirty hours, something crazy like that. So. With the mm -hmm. crazy schedules and shit, it's difficult to to mm -hmm. do. But yeah, expensive. Maybe too, one day, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can see the brick here too, at the top. I don't know if you can see yeah. that. Yeah. It's again, it's the combination of detail. What for? You know. Reinforced for tourists up here, I guess. And they're all different. All three of them, different mm -hmm. uh, damage. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is. Uh, Pretty good at evidence, this uh, Petra area in Jordan. And of course, I'm sure they lay the narrative on thick there too, the Nabataeans. And they carved everything. They were just good carvers, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're in Iran, Afghanistan, somewhere like that right now too. It's very similar. Weird. Weird. A couple different states in here too. You can see the, the bricks here with the outline, bigger bricks. Kind of mud looking, you know. Mm -hmm. The old mud bricks, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you get to the bottom, and it's all just sort of blends with the what we call the hillside. I think it's back in Germany. This one. Oh my uh, goodness! Yeah. The bl the blistering up the walls, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, so they would have us believe they filled this area in between the two, uh, right? Filled right. it in, yeah. filled it in. And, and some just believe them. that more than uh, than exploding out, uh, like like we say, uh, popcorning out, whatever. Uh, but that they'd rather believe that they built around it, I guess. Well, that yeah. For a massive project like that, I'm sure they would like uh, find a different location, maybe. Yeah. There's so other many other area. better locations. Somewhere yeah. that's flat. Somewhere right. That... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe somewhere that's flat. <laughs> Let's start there. <laughs> but it shows you how powerful that that programming is, right? When it's right in front of your face, yeah. and your your mind is trained to not see what you're actually seeing with your eyes, but to explain it in the most ridiculous ways. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm hmm. The colors, right? Uniformity of the colors. Very scorched up here. Look at this. It's turned into pebble bricks. But there's still brick color, a lot of them. Yeah. You know, and then the bottom is just like you could see the difference. The popcorn started popping down here. You know, didn't quite pop. These are the kernels that didn't pop up here, but they just got, got scorched by the pan. And then these are the popcorns that started popping. I like that analogy, the popcorn rock. I think you, you, you've used that before, Jokum, to explain it. How they just just expand, right? Like yeah. there must have been a heat point where they just went Poof, in some cases. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorites, this one too. Why would you need that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe there was a cave underneath this rocky outcropping and they decided they would make use of that overhang and turn it into a room uh, I mean, it, it's the exact same shape as as what will yeah. tell us is natural you, you know? I mean, the line goes straight down it, it matches mm -hmm. up yeah crazy yeah that one's in italy it's there's a town in northern italy and it's just and it's a pretty uh, pretty flat area so if you pick uh, a different location in the area there to build. You can shoot, choose how big you want the rooms and stuff like that. That's true. You weren't governed yeah. by the ceiling height here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I like this area too. In uh, is it Yemen? I think it's Yemen. Yeah, that I think it is. You guys probably know this place, yeah. But 
again, I mean, go with go to the flat location, right? Why why yeah. you need to weave into this rock here? Is it sacred to your ancestors? <laughs> <laughs> And most of the time you'll look to the left of these places and it'll be flatter or there won't be a a lot of rock and stuff and boulders. Why don't you just build it to the left? (laughs) (laughs) Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. And the the block sizes is interesting too. And it changes from, you know, the gingerbread look, I think they call this. Yeah. This is also a beautifully uh, decked out building, the details and stuff like that. So, yeah inherited for sure after post cataclysm yeah. somebody yeah what a what a strange that would be interesting to see too it's amazing how it's preserved in different ways in different locations here mm-hmm. you know there's a bit of a bit of reinforcing been going on here they wanted to reinforce the header over the opening <laughs> here so they Put a strip of thin brick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. two millimeters, you know, thick. Uh, <laughs> That's all it needed. That's all it needed. And then it was strong enough to withstand tourists walking underneath it. Uh. <laughs> Put those boulders in there, right? And that, that column over there to the right. Yeah. Yeah. Thin brick and then boulder. Yeah, yeah just slam it in there. In there. <laughs> <laughs> You can see the pattern here too. What it might have, you know, you sometimes patterns have different yeah. uh, signatures too. So you can see that in there. The layer thing, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is strange. Looks it's like uh, it has something to do with uh, the electricity going in certain places for certain reasons or something, mm-hmm. uh, messing up uh, the area more than others. It's very strange. Uh, Conductivity, right? Uh, yeah. Affects different materials or different patterns. Yeah. yeah. It makes sense. It does make sense. Yeah. That turkey, that same look. And imagine walking up, and that's that's the hillside you see, and you you can see you could see the melt, so your jaws on the floor, but uh, people that can't see the melt, it's like oh, it's just caved or yeah. just carved two thousand years ago. No, no big deal. You don't want to see that. Right. Look at yeah. that. Great they, they, one. Great they they one. switch from Yemen, what that picture you had in Yemen, you know, yeah. oh, it was built around the rocks. And then they had to, well, when it looks like this, oh, well, it was carved. <laughs> yeah. They got hammer and chisel, right? Yeah. With donkeys? Donkeys. With donkeys. And all these details are very important. So they had a couple different shaped chisels to work yeah. with. That could do different angles, right? <laughs> like we do, yeah. and we, I, where I work with wood, you have different shaped chisels to do different things, right? Right. But these guys, I can imagine sharpening chisels when you're taking them to stone. Oh my goodness! And a lot of them didn't have steel. A lot of these locations are, are very <laughs> rudimentary form of a strong steel. Like it's it's ridiculous. Because right. was it isn't it Japan and Germany are which traditionally have like the some of the strongest steel in the world. Um, probably yes. a few other locations sure. too, but there was steel. Like quality of steel was in our in our narrative that they give us was a big thing. Mm-hmm. It's like they, they have a they have a stronger steel than we do, so we're doomed. Their swords are better than ours, kind of thing. They also said uh, copper chisels as well. Uh, I think in <laughs> Egypt and stuff, and that's even softer than the shittiest steel. So yeah, I was about yeah. to say that's not going to work out too well. I don't think. It's hardly right. a metal. Copper is hardly a metal at all. Yeah. <laughs> We've been so yeah. tricked, guys. Yeah. It's Tell them it's copper chisels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the copper age, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This one's interesting too. Reminding me, actually, of places. A lot of places you see in the states, Capitol buildings and things like that. Mm-hmm. You see a lot of these. You know, it's identical. Even even the pillars here, you can tell they were like a shiny granite. Not long ago, even here you can yeah. see it. Yeah, right. And the statue of the woman to the right. Here, pretty nice statue right there. Very detailed. Bad. Did it did it chisel this out too, or is it a mold, or yeah, like what's going on here? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't make sense, does it? Or the dude. Sorry, maybe it's a woman. Maybe it's a dude. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I don't see any titties. <laughs> They started that a long time ago, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting because of the way that they paint out the narrative um, with art 
in our history is like there was like three really good artists that carved you know and their works can be found in the british museum and the blah 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 but this stuff is everywhere you know this type of detail the artistic detail it's like the paintings on the ceilings in a lot of the buildings that you see you know there you find when you look into it they're everywhere mm-hmm. it's not just it's not just at the uh, sistine chapel or whatever you want to call it so they have diversions that draw your attention and say yeah. just look here you know natural or man-made <laughs> go <laughs> no, no, no. the earth uh spawned that here during creation <laughs> <laughs> a hard 90 that's a hard 90 you can see it because even in this pixelated fifth picture you can see how hard that 90 is there mm-hmm. yeah. weird too weird like how do you explain this you know that's a doorway to nowhere this is really important we needed that <laughs> carve it in there come on guys <laughs> We need to do this. <laughs> it's a portal. Maybe it's yeah. a portal. Yeah. You can wow. see it bending outward too on the bottom. Let's see. Like yeah, like here, bottom, here. Uh, you can see those bend, bending yeah. outward, like it's coming down. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's being crushed right here for sure. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You can, you know, you, you can envision pl- when you burn a piece of plastic. Although I know we're not supposed to burn plastic. <laughs> there's people i know that would kill you for trying to burn a piece of plastic hey, but the, you... the, the cu- uh, cutting down the rainforest i don't think it matters that you burn a plastic bottle <laughs> exactly exactly yeah. when it starts to ripple and then cave in on itself you know if you've yeah seen it and that seems to be kind of what we're seeing here you know and then it froze and stopped or or whatever happened the, the, this is crazy actually the top too like yeah is that look at this writing in here yeah why why would they do that there it's weird some kind of old uh, like runes or something yeah R- rune writing and there's that coloring again too with that charcoal and that reddish mm-hmm. melt you you see it a lot in places like thailand and stuff too <laughs> that you know those places you can boat around and they have those basically melted buildings everywhere covered in yeah. greenery Mm-hmm. You see that and that, that charcoal stuff and blackening is all over here around me. Um, oh so, yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah. You can tell right there. Look, the the, bot, the uh, buildings on the bottom that are kind of level, and then that whole what they call mountain in the background is leaning. Yeah. And going this way to the yeah. right. Yeah. And then this one sort of destabilized and is kicked back to the left up here. Yeah. I can see it going, going this way now. Yeah. Or they went up there and they built a circular um, turret to guard out, and make sure the invading armies wouldn't get there. <laughs> the, the narrative is so stupid. The loincloth, yeah. It's all part of the loincloth narrative, you know? Yeah. It's to make us feel stupid about ourselves, you know? I it, think. It's like the comic section. To me now, I, I, I read them to laugh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And it just war. We were just killing each other. It's all we've ever done is just killed each other. Spears, oh, wow. swords, guns. It's all we ever wanted to do is kill each other. That's what they want us to think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is a bad spot to build a wall. You wouldn't think that would be stable. Uh, right. Yeah. Right. Who, who built that archway right there? That's very dangerous. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> I heard a dozen, dozen people died trying to make it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For 40 bricks. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see the blueprints and drawings of these yes. places because you need that. If you're going to have uh, 200 men building these brick structures, you need a couple of drawings. Otherwise, you can't have the co- proper communication uh, how, how to organize and put this shit together. So why is there no drawings of these places? Yeah, you need to you need to be able to meet in the right spot when the time comes. If you've got groups of men working in different locations on a structure. Right. Yeah. Well, that- and you need to calculate uh, all the bricks and then uh, contact like the brick factories and they need to deliver that with horses and stuff. I mean, damn, it's a whole thing yeah. that people don't really 
think about the whole process. And how do you contact the brick factories too? What do letters. you use? Letters. You, you, you send, send out a, a writer? Yeah. <laughs> send a mule. Yeah, that's right. You send a dove with a little note on it. Right, right. <laughs> well, yeah, like Game of Thrones, right? Send out a raven. Raven's a pretty good way to communicate, actually. Yeah. <laughs> this is interesting, too. And they throw this guy up there. Oh. On the mm. top there. I think it's in France somewhere, right? But it's, you got a cathedral on top of a a little mountain. And you can see down here, too, you know? Yeah. The arches are still there. Looks yeah. really fun to, to uh, climb up there with bricks in your backpack and a few ropes and stuff <laughs> and start building there. Yeah. It's only the young and healthy that make it to the top these days. Right? <laughs> <laughs> or the ones with a helicopter. If you have a helicopter, you can just land. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this one's weird. I don't know where this is, but it's. Uh... I bet you there's no story attached to that. Probably not. Hmm. That's strange. And you can see the tr sort of the crispiness on top. Yeah, it's just seeing like that. The cheese started to get crispy. Yeah, and definitely melty crispy. But it's like it reminds you know what it, it reminds me of. I mean, not not to give you another movie reference, but uh, um, Indiana Jones when the guy's face melts. I don't know if you remember that. It's the second Indiana Jones movie, and the guy drinks from the cup, and then his face melts. Yeah. Maybe it's the third. That's what no, this that's reminds what, me. That's, of. that's the first, isn't it? Or I don't. I don't. Let's not debate this. Oh no 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 no. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> the okay, point the is the melting yeah. wax. Let yeah. Build these buildings look like they're just like it's almost like they can't get a coating before they actually completely dis disintegrate. It all becomes sort of one. Yeah. Yeah, and it just then it just droops and it's gone. So it's like this is in that stage where it's just about to fall, but something stopped it. What do you think stopped it? Yeah, good question. I, I wonder. I do think water like... had had something to do with it, but other than that, I don't know. There's say there had to be some kind of cooling instant. Uh -huh. um, well, that's what I wonder. So I, I wonder if it's like you know getting into the whole good versus evil thing or god versus devil thing what if it's the evil forces doing it and then the, and god coming and say oh no you don't you know it's just like a boom boom right. sort of event where it's just a very brief event but so much destruction had happened but it was stopped it was like too too much i don't know i'm, I'm just yeah. Spitball. yeah i mean they talk about the the great flood and stuff in the bible and the windows of heaven opening and flooding everything and shit like that maybe that's just a metaphor and uh, it's actually like the cool down or something especially mm -hmm. if uh, we're in a dome that's underwater somewhere and stuff then it's like it's possible that a lot of water could come in here very quickly or something like that yeah i like that one too the crack in the firmament Right, temporary yeah. uh, opening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can it go makes back. Sense. To, you could go back to the uh, plastic bottle thing, Chris, and say you had it on a uh, a, a stove with a, a, a gas stove, and then you just turn it off or get it off the yeah. pot, whatever, and it's it's going to stop. Or put um, it in water. Or yeah, or exactly. you, you quickly dip it in cold water, right? Yeah, that makes yeah. sense too. Actually. I did uh, something called the tong tongkulu with my daughter. It's like a coating of sugar over on fruit, and it's the same thing. And you use an ice bath to stop the sugar from, and it just like creates a shell, right? So huh. I'm just, just as an example, um, yeah. a sugar would just solidify. Water would just solidify it in a in a in a heartbeat, right? And leave it in, in weird states like this. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Yeah, huh. almost looks like an antler. <laughs> <laughs> weird yeah you really had to build that little wall right there <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah very necessary yeah <laughs> let's see get a little closer and it starts to show up you can see it all up here mm -hmm. all the walls it's amazing how much of this there is too and like i've scoured places like armenia and this part of the world turkey armenia there seems to be a lot of uh this going on where it's exposed and they and they don't they build that into their narrative now oh they dug 17 layers underground and something like that they use it as defenses from the invading armies <laughs> yeah i think they worked that into the historical narrative now yeah. i don't even know what this uh current generations are being taught in school and shit you know got four kids that's uh, uh five uh, seven nine and eleven that's mm -hmm. in school 
but but they say there's so much bullshit and you know they're all flat earthers and stuff like that and yeah uh, you know they're uh as long as they know it's bullshit yeah yeah, yeah. which is kind of the battle right so just keep making sure they're not getting sucked into the yeah uh, yeah system. then they're like screw this test I'm like, yeah <laughs> yeah i know a lot of people say you get them out of the system do this but it's just it's not as easy easier said than done yeah it, it is right. difficult for you need to be in the correct uh circumstances to be able to do that i mean you're yeah. basically in a jail cell and then you have to escape you know figuratively saying and then you have to escape from the jail cell and it, you, you just keep having to get more and more out of the system and it's it's hard it's it's hard uh yeah yeah, and I don't know if you if everyone retracts from that system, then it's really going to be an echo chamber. They're not going to have any kids that are questioning the narrative, you know. Right. So you need you almost need that you need to keep keep impacting, you know, that sphere to so people know that you can you can question their bullshit. Mm -hmm. It's okay, right? They just want because that's what they want is nobody everyone to leave if you're going to question it, right? Just a little echo chamber. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a good one too. Oh, yeah. Turkey. So I don't know how you had to like rappel down from the top with a chisel and then start hammering in there or something. Like well, have you ever considered foot chisels? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So it was so high up, and then they say, well, they had to protect themselves from the fucking wolves and dinosaurs and shit like that, but damn. What about this room? How do you explain that? Why did yeah. they build that? Yeah. Right. That was so, taken years, and then ah, okay, screw this. It don't work yeah. as I planned, or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After forty years, you're like, you know what? It still kind of looks like shit. We should probably build over there on that flat space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pyramid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Coked Pyramid. out. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Look at all those bricks. Just insane amount. Mm -hmm. A little maybe tried to tried to start an arch halfway and then decided, no, oh, we don't do we don't need an arch here. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> Here's an arch. I kind of see it. Oh yeah. Right. Opening. And then this opening is more intact with the yeah, sort of. It's like the like the Great Pyramid, right? It has that sort of. Some of the area looks like uh, this, and others look like mangled. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Like Mark, you showed that on one of your recent videos, the the bricks in the in the pyramid. Um, yeah. I thought it was uh, was uh, it's pretty well, good because like the building blocks of 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 the realm really. Yeah, so that I video thought. was was put out a while back, and I, I really didn't see it, and but I had. There were so many more. I could have made a, a two-hour video, really, of, of pyramids all over the. I mean, there's like two thousand they claim it just in America. Yeah, um, uh, there there's just so many of them. Yeah, and it's it's interesting because you just wouldn't have thought. Like our narrative doesn't allow for red bricks in certain situations. I had one in Sicily. I had a bunch of stuff like columns in Sicily, and it's supposed to be big stones that they chiseled, right? But they're brick core. And then Thailand, all over the, that area, Cambodia, Thailand, all those temples, they're just um, coated brick, red brick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that in the statues and stuff too. That's right. Uh, the the coating is off, and then it's just uh, the core of the huge ass statues, such as brick. Yeah. yeah. It's not carved or chiseled or anything like that. So. And I and I don't think they account for that in the narrative. They just say, oh, they just said they're temples and. Yeah. It's like we're the AI is playing catch up on the narrative, catch, trying to yeah. catch up to what, what we're strong. discovering. <laughs> this is a good one too. This one is uh, showing you the the two different, at least two different states. Pretty uh, more than that, really. So the left bottom yeah. is all brick, and the right bottom is all right out what they could find in the area, and then put bricks on top of that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, the shipment hadn't arrived yet. Yeah, we're under pressure to finish. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're on so deadline. They, was, <laughs> they had it. That's right. The the Duke of the area needs it built. Too sweet. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it's always that the peasants doing it for the aristocracy. That's always a part of it too. Yeah, you know, it's all part of their narrative. And then they're the aristocracy, though. So it's like we've always been their servants. That's 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 what they want us to believe. We 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 didn't exist at a higher state. We didn't create beautiful things. We we've always been their servants and doing it for them. Right. It's bullshit. It is. Yep. Government is supposed to be our servants, but it's uh, it's been too corrupted. Yeah. Yep. Total opposite. Yeah. As everything else is basically. Yeah. Exactly. That's just a blubbery mess there. Look, well, look, look this though. You can see the walls and the arches. Yep. Uh, that maybe is a bit of a brick wall. Look in here. Mm -hmm. All right. That's 100% chisel work right there. Right. Has to be. They can't explain that any other way. Well, it looks like melted ice cream though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why they were drawn to that location. Because they like the look of it. That's why they started carving there. So pretty. <laughs> it, it, it is nice. It has that almost gone look, right? Almost melted. <laughs> All right. I could go on forever, but I think uh, I think that's probably enough for now. What do you think? That's up to you, man. Well, yeah, yeah whatever you feel like. I got time, yeah. so. You got time? Okay. Um, yeah. I just got a pistol, and that's all. But you can keep get... going, of course. I'll see if I can find a Sicily. I want to show you guys that. Here, let me pull off and I'll, I'll poke around for a while. We can have a uh, have a chat. Oh, that that now that's mm -hmm. that is actually, I think that's in burger. Russia. Yeah, it's, but uh, it's you see, see how close it looks to caves. What oh. we call caves. Let me go back. Where's the? Yeah, so I mean. You can see right there. I mean, that's what that's bricks to lactites, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and there's so many examples like that too. Um, I don't know. I don't know why people can't see. Tell me um, about uh, what, what's the, what's the climate like down where you are these days? I'm pretty tired of it, really. Um, <laughs> I was the telling you. Or... Yeah, the heat. Uh, it's every summer's different here, but um, I think last summer there was like a month of it that was just almost unbearable. The, the humidity, man, we had I don't know a month and a half. The humidity now is not too bad, but um, it's been brutal pretty much for uh, the past month, month and a half straight. But yeah, we had a dry spell for like a month at one time. Uh, it's all over the place. Um, yeah, it's it's hot. It's 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 your, I guess probably what we would have here fall. Um, right? Um, you're like pretty. Uh, I mean, does it ever really get like steamy where you're at? Or no, no, we get well, we get what we call like thirty degrees Celsius, which I don't know. That's not even a hundred for you guys. Yeah, with thirty I use two Celsius hours. too uh, normally from Norway and stuff. Okay. So, so I'm still trying to convert over to Fahrenheit and yeah. miles and inches and shit, but it's, it's a tough one. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. kind of difficult, but you know, if if there's a problem, I got converters on my phone and stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So this I got a short file. There's 23 photos in this file, and it's I called it red bricks in places that we weren't weren't really told they were right. So this is what we were just talking about. This is some sort of uh, southeast asian temple and you, even here look at you can even see the red bricks in the statue here once you get past the mouth the mouth starts to come off yeah mm -hmm. and here right. when i first so, started looking into in this stuff i'm sorry chris the, oh, the statues ahead. the statue thing i was like wow even they're made of brick <laughs> uh, -huh. yeah. uh just just crazy yeah i'm still i'm still there it's like this is okay by Anyone's logic that doesn't know anything about this, this is a stone that they carved into a statue. There's no way you would think otherwise, you know, what we're supposed to think of the area. So when you see this kind of thing, maybe that's why they bombed the shit out of Cambodia in the 70s, eh? Getting rid of yeah. the evidence. Yeah. Had to be. And not just Cambodia, I think it happened in a lot of places. 
um pompeii you guys are probably well familiar with pompeii yeah yeah the That's core the core of columns yep. yeah just bricks and, and laid in this way to give that fluting uh, so yeah. you, they can put the coating on and, and get, it looks like a, a single piece of yeah it looks pretty mm -hmm. and these whoever did this kind of work knew what they were doing this isn't done by unskilled apprentices or slaves or slaves, right. people who are barely getting by day to day with a with a crust of bread you know it, yeah. it's stupid yeah it is it's, it's this it's, it's a magnificent work yeah. magnificent body yeah. of work like this yeah. without it's, its like coating the, i think yeah I mean, just like the star forts it, most of them around in america they're it's supposed to be built by slaves i mean it's just the precision of those things it's just incredible and the amount of bricks and they just they just say slaves mm -hmm. slaves don't even get to read or anything back in the days uh -uh. couldn't read the plans then right they had to have yeah. the architect there telling them where to place the brick apparently <laughs> right the masonic ar architect it's always some sort of yeah somebody oh, who's yeah. been elevated in our history books here you go yeah look at this is mangled big time look at that oh my goodness that. yep weird you can see see a bit of it there too it's interesting to see old black and white photos of some of these places and then you see a group of these people in suits and top hats and stuff like that that's like the parasites uh coming in there and uh claiming and naming these areas and stuff is what i think i agree with that that's how i feel as well mm -hmm. yeah and they're part of the uh those networks right they're they're all linked up with a larger network and you know i think yeah you get a little bit of brick hard to tell in this one hard to tell but you're kind of seeing some some of it up here it remains Mm -hmm. Oh, you can see it on here, really easy, and there. Oh yeah, there it is. Right. So again, this, I'm pretty sure this one's Sicily, and they they definitely would have told us that they chiseled these, and into single single pieces. There's right. No, you right. know, like, and people just don't look that closely. Mm -hmm. Or even when you look, your brain doesn't uh, doesn't see what you're actually seeing. No, most of the time you you won't even see the brick. It, yeah it doesn't compute uh, you just look past it so it's, it's interesting yeah i like the rounded bricks on the bottom too oh yeah 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 rounded to a specific curve yeah more of those temples hmm. tech all so, day yeah <laughs> all day so, so many bricks <laughs> it's ridiculous it is ridiculous uh, it makes you think of minecraft you know like is that what this realm really is it's just like, it's right. like a game of minecraft that wall is also uh uh pretty much infinite and it's also a flat which most video games walls are it's yeah. all built on a flat uh thing makes sense yeah what if this one of my favorites too you can see it the, yeah. right next to each other the difference what it looked like sort of this is still scorched you could tell it's seen some heat from mm -hmm. above it looks like in this case yeah but uh yeah it's a neat need to see the yeah, yeah. scorched bricks for sure right and then yep yeah. all brick with an outer covering i mean yeah all it is. yeah here's that same location we saw earlier and you can see them a lot better here oh um, yeah look at that yep. yeah all the way down so these and that implies all of these are built in the same way it makes sense so these are all red brick and then even the bricks like this too right this gets back to what we were talking about with the pyramids you can see how yep. melted these are too oh yeah it's like they, it's funny how they chunk up into bigger blocks yeah you know it's, weird. it's really weird but that's what it is mm -hmm. so, i mean mm -hmm. so crazy cataclysm that's for sure yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. Big mess, eh? Looks like shit, but you can tell. Not yeah. so. It was amazing. Yeah. You know.
four columns. Same thing everywhere. Pompeii again, that one. A good mix here. You can see the yeah. that pebble, and then you have the uh, yeah the bricks. There should be so many questions in one picture like that. Yeah. yeah. Still Pompeii. This is the road. You wouldn't want to take the horse and wagon down that road, would you? <laughs> no. Yeah, it's interesting there because it looks like there's tracks yep. yeah, in here. what used to be kind of like a little bit uh, like melted, like mm -hmm. not solid completely, like uh, whatever car or whatever they had back in the days, like they tried to get the hell out of there or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. so there is these tracks in there, which is very interesting. Mm -hmm. A bit more of this. This one really got me actually when I started to see red bricks and these Southeast Asian temples, because it, it to me it's illogical. It, it, it's a vast departure from the uh, historical narrative, unless we're supposed to believe that th that's what they were using for everything down there as well. You know, in Southeast Asia, like it looks very top heavy. So there's more under, and yeah. it also looks like uh, the tops of uh, like spark plugs or something. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't they usually say it's the Romans that used the red bricks? Isn't that what they usually try to tell us about the narrative? Yeah. And they, I'm pretty sure the Romans weren't building these temples in Thailand. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's that same place again. It's scorched though, just scorched for sure. Yeah, definitely heat coming from the top somehow at some point. Mm -hmm. We got some Roman reinforcing going on here <laughs> around, around the statue. <laughs> yeah. And then above too. Yeah. The statue got like a antenna thing on on his head like a hat with some kind of tech like the just like the yeah the, we just saw the here, next right? photo as well yeah just yeah. like that yeah. yeah i have a couple yeah this one yeah too. yeah there yeah unless yeah. it's fashion it had some kind of purpose yeah no i i mentioned cambodia because i i really suspect they were on a mission to uh destroy evidence before the world could travel mm -hmm. and extract a lot of it you know that's that's pretty obvious to me why else would they just bomb the jungle right yeah. right yeah anyway that's my uh red brick to the core <laughs> right red brick to the core it's there's much more there than we realize that's a good one too and a couple different states here look at the top here yeah, totally changed. Um, yeah. yeah, still got some roof. Uh, those clay tiles seem to stand yes. the test of st the cataclysm. Yep. Yeah. yeah, made the made of the same stuff as bricks, really, aren't they? Same material, yeah. probably. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I used to think that you know people they would put those on top of the buildings of so the uh, destroyed buildings or whatever that you know I say destroyed, but like this, and then they would just put those on top. But I think those were left over, just like that. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. oh. All like right. The uh, terracotta piping and stuff like that. Well, they've moved all the plastic now, right? All our pipes are PVC and ABS. And... Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. They went from what the terracotta to they did have copper. copper. Yeah, yeah, copper. And, yeah. and then now the PVC and stuff. Yeah, I know I know a few hardcore like traditional plumbers that will still only use copper. Actually, they might be done, retired yeah. now, but there were a few in, in my, my time that refused to go to PEX, which is the plastic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, my dad was a plumber actually back in the day, and he talked about that all the time. Um, so takeover of the plastic? Yeah, it, he, he told me that, um, now this has been years ago, he went to a different job, uh, he's retired now, but um, he left the industry just because there were so many regulations and stuff and switching to crap, basically, and, right. and inspectors <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, and all that. So, 
yeah. yeah, I just had my run in here with an, I'm doing a renovation off the front of my house and I didn't get a permit from the municipality. <laughs> and, and they slapped a stop work order on the front of my house and oh wow jesus <laughs> yeah can't do uh, anything so you can't land. do any shit with your own shit well, <laughs> what, i gave him 400 bucks and uh all of a sudden we're good to go a week and a half later i got myself a permit <laughs> passed my inspection <laughs> okay mm -hmm. uh, yeah they want their they want their their, 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 their chunk right they want yep. their chunk yeah. yeah, you run into good ones, and then you run into really bad ones. Mm -hmm. uh, Which is not fair ones. to be at at the whim of a person's mood and you know demeanor. Well, you know, yeah. you should we should that should never be the case. You know, yeah. I was paving my driveway like I don't know three years ago, four years ago, and so the state worker drives by. They're almost done with it towards towards where the county road is, and she. She stops in the middle of the road, blocks traffic, and is just telling the guys that they have to quit. You can't, you can't go all the way to the road. Uh, that's that state property and all this. And anyway, long story short, uh, I she wanted me to get a permit after it was already done and whatever, and I just didn't. You know, I didn't <laughs> call or anything. I'm just like, yeah, I'll do it. That's Later. a power trip, though. That's just um, stop in the middle of traffic. Yeah, like why? Why does she care? Mm -hmm. yeah. Even if it was, uh, you know, ten feet of state property, whatever. I mean, the road is getting upgraded for free. Exactly. Them. You're making it better. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. There was a driveway across the street from my house. It's actually my father-in-law. I I went out in the middle of the road. There was twenty cars behind her. She's just sitting there with her window down. I said, can you pull over here? And she finally Can you did. mind your own business, please? <laughs> that too. Those are Agent Smiths, though, right? It's easy easy to handle Agent Smiths when you know what they are, I think. Yeah. You can sort of, uh, you know, play that angle, if you understand. Yeah. They're not really thinking for themselves. They're just agents yeah. of the state, right? Agents of the Matrix. Yeah, they're doing what they're told, right? Mm-hmm. And we know how many people have done what they told, especially in the last couple of years. Exactly. Damn. Yep. Uh, that's that's again nobody thinking. They're just yeah. doing what you're told. I mean, it's like working for a, a company that's putting poison in something, and you know it, but you're yeah. still working for them and still trying to sell it for them. Right. It, yeah. It makes no <laughs> sense. What, what, you pay. A, what? I think you pay a heavy soul price for that. You pay a heavy soul price. You know. Yeah. Still when see you know. people driving and walking around, uh, alone with a mask on to this mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, sad. It's sad, right? I every day, I saw, pretty much. Yeah. I saw a few, I think a few counties in the States have made it illegal to wear one in public now. I thought oh, I saw yeah. that last week. Maybe it was just one county in New York, which <laughs> I thought was interesting. It's like the exact opposite of what right. they were trying to do. Yeah, but there's so much uh, theft and stuff like that hidden mm -hmm. behind this mask. And... Well, who, like traditionally, who wears a mask? The robber wears the mask. Yep. Yep. Right? Yep. That's what, so, and I saw jewelry stores all through the pandemic that had the signs up. Don't come in here with the mask. You can steal yeah. my jewelry. That's the first thing yeah. I thought of when all that started. I'm like, okay, there's going to be a lot of robbers around here now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, exactly. And then they were, didn't they release prisoners from all the prisons too? They just opened yeah. the floodgates. <laughs> right. It happened up here. Yeah, yeah. It was nuts. Too, too obvious, though. Too obvious, you know. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great stuff, Chris. Uh, appreciate those pictures. And yes, very, things. very amazing. Well, Great photos, the both of you. Yeah, happy to share them. Oh, yeah. it's good. Yeah, but um, share some shit again. Uh, I feel good about it, so I'll probably be doing some shit more uh on a more regular basis probably i think so yeah it's time to, to dive into <laughs> the melt again yeah sure yeah why not he's back baby yeah <laughs> yeah it's man, funny you know, how yeah well i was just gonna say it's funny how your content lives on doesn't really matter when you start making content you mm -hmm. know you can you can go quiet for a while but like you said people are still finding your stuff new eyes are, are coming to it and that's that's why we do i think what we're doing because 
it's out there forever yeah. until it gets yeah. taken down. You know, unless they reset uh, the internet, then yeah, it's out yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, that'd yeah. be a panic move. <laughs> there, then, then we'd be then we'd all be talking to each other face to face, and then it would be game over that way too. I think people would be right. in the community again. Yeah. yeah. They can't shut down the internet because they keep they they need it to uh, keep people enslaved mentally and stuff with yeah. you know all these video games and all these office jobs and all that stuff. So distractions, yeah, yeah, yeah and all these fucking movies and shit. Whatever. Well, and also do. the way the way that people have treated each other over the last couple of years, no one's no one's taking any. Um, responsibility for it. That's what I'm seeing. It's like, you know, you were ready to alienate a segment of the population that refused to go along with the experiment. Mm -hmm. And and now people just can't face those people like, like myself. They, so they just, it's, they just bury themselves in distraction rather than actually having a grown up conversation about anything. Yeah, right. You know? right. Uh, and that's part of the play, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, they. What's the word I'm looking for? You know, they they give us the internet and stuff, and but they need it, and they think right. you know, well, it's sixty percent us as far as them, and then you know we can, we can. Uh, I'm trying to think of the war term, casualties or whatever. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, it's worth it, you know. We can we can let this out because we need it, and yeah. we're using it more than them. And they can yeah. take channels and videos and stuff down too. So, hmm. yeah, the censorship. But there's a battle going on, I think, with that too. With uh, I, I think it was even last week I saw an article that Google's having some legal issues with like an antitrust type situation. Uh, you know, so it's there. You can see the light and dark battle. It's not yeah. all. It's yeah. not all doom and gloom. And we have to remember that. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's good in 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 everyone. Most people, I think, the people at the top of the the food their food chain, have uh, what do they use cremation of care? They've consciously decided not to uh, have a soul or have any humanity or empathy, right? right? And and then they try to make that the society they want us to be. But we don't have to be that way, mm. you know. And it's not our natural state. So, we have to no, not at all. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I truly believe that too. Most people are good people yeah. and when i'm out there doing my everyday shit then all the interactions and all the people i see uh 99 of them are friendly people and people who works like in governments and higher up in the system and stuff there is good people there too and they say oh my god i gotta fight for this and make things right i mean with the censorship and everything like adults grown ass people can't say whatever the hell they want together mm -hmm. through this shit it's ridiculous yeah. Yeah. as long as you don't you know plan like bombing places or terrorism or anything you should be able to talk about whatever the hell you want yeah that's what yeah. i think yeah no well that's that's like the bedrock of uh of, of a free society or an open society right like that's yeah you know if that's gone i mean that's and that's been debated a lot lately too right they're trying the british government's trying to crack down on what you say online and all that kind of stuff all these things seem to have the reverse effect it just pisses more people yeah. off. And then you yeah, get... yeah, yeah. It, so. it, it seems like they're stepping over bounds really quickly. Um, but I don't know why they're doing it so quickly. But maybe there's they... a time crunch. Maybe it's just sloppy. You know, it's panic. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, I did think they hit the panic button in '19, but uh, yeah. Yeah. that that actually woke up a, a lot of people. Just just that event. So. Uh huh. Yeah. I was going to ask you guys too. What do you think about uh, the, the stuff that we this, this content? You know, the flat Earth as well, but the old world stuff and the uh, meltology. Um, it seems to be most most people that are looking at this refused. How do I say it? To participate in the experiment. Let's say. Um, do you think there's a direct connection there with uh, physically, um, techno technology wise? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to be careful with the way I'm yeah. saying this, but I think you guys probably know. I know what, what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? It, yeah, it's, I think ahead. it's related to those kind of things that happened in some yeah. sort of way. I think people are being uh, zombie-fied mm -hmm. in a way, and 
I mean, just just the way that I saw this tree of couple, whatever, shit talking flat Earth, while they are like that, and they're like, oh, I forgot those kind of people existed, like <laughs> that kind of stuff. Like that says so, it all. <laughs> so so because they live like that and they walk their boyfriend girlfriend with a dog leash, if they were ever to question flat Earth. Uh, they had to. They had to question: Is there a god behind this? And what the hell am I doing with my boyfriend girlfriend here with a leash and shit? Because it's <laughs> wrong. So they'd rather just keep living, doing their crazy stuff instead of because uh, the truth requires change. Mm-hmm. Yes. In the way you think, the way uh, the way you behave and treat people and all everything, the way you eat and all that stuff. So it's easier to just ignore it uh, and uh, keep doing whatever stupid shit you do. I think. Yes. But it's a choice. There's no. There's no innocence there. Then that's a conscious decision at some level. You know, there has yeah. to be. You know, as much you know, and I do like to say, well, we have to remember these people are brainwashed. But at the same time, you re- there is a conscious decision being made not to see. I, th- yeah. I think, especially this day and age, with what's out yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. There is no way with all the truth out there. Not even the big things like flat Earth, but it could be anything out there. Um, mm-hmm. There's no mm-hmm. way people can't know jack shit today. Still, mm-hmm. there's yeah. no way. Yeah, but still, they don't know anything. It's a choice. <laughs> and yeah, they feel, made, they're making a choice. Yeah, I do feel for like forgiveness, or whatever, for because of the system. Um, mm-hmm. It's you know, I'm like it's not their fault, but at some point, yes, it is your fault, and I, you, you. you you know people or see people and they they see what i've shown or truth channels have shown and and they just don't it's too much they they don't they don't want to change you have to change your whole reality you'd like you're yeah. y'all are saying i mean you have to you do have to make a lot of changes if you really want it, if your heart's into it yeah and yeah. And, and it's hard i mean i i'm not a hundred percent where i want to be as far as life uh mm-hmm. with with this, but you know, I'm, I'm just, it's baby steps, but a lot of people don't even want to take those baby steps, but they'll say, they will agree with you maybe a little bit or here and there, but, but that's it. They just keep doing what they're doing because, you know, it's, it's just too hard. So, mm-hmm. yeah, but Hey, that's what we're here for. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. What we're here for trying Share at with, least. Yeah. To... Yeah. 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 And I want to thank both of you guys for doing that, stepping out into that realm of uh, ridicule, right? Because that's right. that's what you face yeah. when you're in a very small minority and you're trying to suggest something that no one else sees or agrees with. Yeah. It's uh, I didn't know it was going to be that bad at first either. I was like, oh, yeah, Sam, I'm just like, <laughs> oh my god, that you know, shit, I got to talk about this, you know, and yeah. and, uh, and because it was you know so easy for me to see it kind of like it went pretty quickly then i thought oh everyone should be able to see this within like five minutes too like that uh like right. i did but yeah like, oh. yeah and then it was you know some months of like trolls and stuff and then eventually they give up because you just learn to not take it into you and you just ignore it if they're exactly. super offensive you can also delete them whatever i don't mm-hmm. do that anymore yeah. i just uh-huh. leave them be and then all the melt heads out there in the chat, they can take care of it for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. Because what they what those trolls want is everybody thinking the way they think and not yeah. not looking right. into it. So when they start to see other people say questioning it as well, then it, then they get sort of the back down, right? Yeah, yeah. They shut up. Yeah. It's they want a reaction. And you know, I, I didn't do it right in the beginning. Yeah, I would and I was just trying to really teach people and then it, it would get to me even people yeah, i don't know any of these people they're just you know <laughs> saying whatever shit they want to say about me but um but then you just got to let it go and they go away and um it's it's they're not there for it's like i've always said I, i'm not going to go into a nasa site and start just reaming everybody i mean mm-hmm. there, there's no point in it um, so it's a, it's a type it's of your person own experience and you're you're gonna find it yourself if you want it so mm-hmm. just leave it at that I, I don't i don't comment to anybody on any negative thing and 
So I, I like to I like to go at mine a little bit. A lot of times they'll say, "Oh, you're just a keyboard. You don't even know what you're talking about." Right. You know, and I'll be like, "Well, I'm a carpenter actually, and I have a pretty good idea how, how buildings go together. And these timelines make no sense." <laughs> right. So I like to, I like to throw it back at them sometimes. Dude, I got a comment a few times like, "Oh, you probably dropped out of school at, at you know whatever when you were ten. And I'm like, "Well, I wish I did, but no, I, I, went, through <laughs> about, <laughs> I went through about I don't know." say 20 something a year, 21 years of school, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. and of course you don't ever hear back from them, but that's a very <laughs> common uh, troll comment. Go back to school, whatever. Hey, we went there. Yes. Read something. Then we read something. <laughs> Trick. <laughs> yeah. Damn. They yeah. think we didn't go to school or something. I don't, I don't know. They think you can't read, read. So they say, read something, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Stuff like that. But <laughs> yeah. it, it's, it's okay. The trolls disappear over time. Uh, did you know they have, like in India and stuff, they have like common farms that people oh, yes. sit and they, they control like uh, 50 cell phones and just leave shit everywhere just just to cause this kind of uh, hatred and, and uh, separation and all that stuff. People do that for a living over there. That's it's crazy. Malevolent. That's yeah. the evil purpose. The purpose behind that is, not, yeah. is detrimental to society, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, I've seen. I've seen we're some. In the uh, you're in is this division. They splatter everywhere. So, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is crazy. I I love the I love the people that I interact with on my channel though too. They tell me you know, I'll do I'll do a video on a certain location and they'll tell me all about their past and and the, oh I went to that high school and did you know it had tunnels that went went across the way to the whatever building it was and like you get a lot more texture on the, the locations it's really uh, one of the yeah, most rewarding yeah, parts of doing what I'm doing yeah you know? yeah that's probably 50 percent of I'm like wow I, I, I never knew that and they, they they're telling you this stuff like you're saying mm -hmm. it's it's great um, yeah we just can't those few comments that. make make the whole thing worth it well, and it's and it's there forever. So someone's going to come across it three years from now and see that, and then add their part part up to it. You know what I mean? That's the yeah. Right. It, we don't understand. I don't think we understand the value of it yet. It's going to take time for this to to really, you know, come together. But yeah. Yeah. I think uh, I think we're we're early on here. Joking, you were really early for for me anyway. I didn't like who is this guy? Who is this Scandinavian guy? Tell me about melted buildings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, you know. when was that? 2019, 2020, 2020, I think. Yeah, the first year of the whole thing. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's when I when I came across that. 2018 was Flat Earth. Yeah. So, you know, just a, it's just a journey. And, you know, someone, it's not a race who's first or who's like the smartest or anything. It's just uh, someone has to see it. And it happened to be me. It happened to be you guys and yeah. the whole chat and everything. And then in some years, five years from now or something, this is probably going to be a pretty casual common knowledge out it's, there. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know, that's yeah. how these things start. I found you in 2021, I think, as the spring of 20, when the, when the the rollout was happening. Oh and, yeah, uh, like, but I don't think you can downplay, you know, getting, you know, if you're one of the few that picked up the torch early on, there's a lot of courage and there's a lot of, a valor, I guess you could say. So yeah, I think uh, you have to uh, pat yourself on the back in some way too, not in an egotistical way, but uh, it speaks a lot to your character as a as an individual. That's why I really wanted to right. meet you. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I appreciate that. There's mm -hmm. something in me, just you know, my spirit or whatever said, "Oh God damn, I have to speak about this because it's so important." And back in the day when I started this, like four years ago, or whatever, like my English wasn't that great or anything, but I still did it. Didn't have the proper like uh, any camera, proper microphone. I used like a shitty headset, whatever. But over time, I got to upgrade it, and my English is, has improved a lot. And you know, now I live in uh, America too, so all my sometimes I forgot uh, to, to talk Norwegian. I speak with my brothers and stuff through my phone, and it's like, oh shit, I gotta put in an English word there because I can't find a Norwegian one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of a transition there and stuff, but uh, it's it's a good it's a good thing to as a foreign. Uh, person to be able to speak English because majority of the world is uh, using that language, even if it's full of spell casting and you know one word means like three different things. It's spelled the same and pronounced the same, but it means so many different things and shit. It's a difficult language, but 
that's what we use that's what they're pushing on us uh mm -hmm. and you can communicate a lot if you if you learn it and yeah, the only way to do so is speak it <laughs> sorry i can yeah i'm just uh, saying the english language is so messed up like four, yeah. one word means four or five things yeah 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 it's pretty messed up sometimes and by the way if you guys like board games we play it uh my wife and my kids sometimes there is a board game called uh code names i think i think it's like 10 bucks at walmart uh it's pretty interesting because it's a word game where one of the persons or two of the person whatever there is a spy master who just have a map of uh, a five by five grid of words uh on the table and you're supposed to describe to the agents out there um you can only give a word with that's one clue so you can say for example hot if there is a couple of words it's difficult to explain but it's a it's a cool game so you, uh, if there's multiple words that can relate to hot for example you can say hot three so there's three words on the five by five grid and they have to guess what you think or what you, which one you're referring to whatever it's a pretty cool game and that's also fucked up with the english because this can mean this and it can mean that and also this so <laughs> it's all based on the, if they can yeah. you know understand you as a person and the way you think and uh what you're referring to and stuff it's pretty cool i'm just gonna i recommend, uh, I recommend that to you chris and, and you mark and whoever in the chat code names if you like board games it's pretty fun and simple to learn is this it i just wanna i'm just gonna put, yeah. is that it there yes okay we got uh, it uh, 10 bucks yeah. on walmart i don't know if it was a sale or anything so it comes with 400 words in the first package and there is also an expansion with another 400 words or something but okay. we just have the first one it's a very cool game sounds and fun we, we have a very yeah it's we have a very good time uh with that okay uh, and uh you know we got one on five and one on seven and you know they can learn how to read because it's pretty simple it's just some cards with names on them or yeah. words on them and stuff and get them off the screens too yeah yeah i mean yeah they're, they're pretty obsessed with screens sometimes and uh yeah it's you know we, we, time, give them, we give them some screen time here and there but every other week they're with their dad and there they have like infinite access to screens Mm -hmm. and then they come here and within the first two minutes after they've been gone for a week they ask about ipad or nintendo switch or whatever so we try to like limit it a little bit and do other things and play uh board games and stuff and mm -hmm. also another game uh that's actually out in the fields it's called cub and you have to throw throw some uh, cylinder sticks on on blocks over there on the opposite side and stuff you know we do kind of stuff like that and go to the lake and yeah because the screens are you know crazy yeah yeah you definitely gotta get away from them mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so that's uh what we're doing and uh yeah i think it's time for me to shut this down i think uh yeah. i think yeah. my sweetie is coming home very soon <laughs> so that'll be it. Yeah. It's been you. been a pleasure. Yeah, I've, I've enjoyed this a lot. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yes, and uh, I've seen uh oh yeah, I can put it on the camera. And uh I'm seeing all the people in the chat as well. I appreciate you guys too. Uh haven't been able to pay too much attention, been busy talking, but uh That's... we should do it again sometime in not too long. I'm down for it. Me too. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I, I want to say I appreciate both of y'all coming on here. Um, yeah. Life, you know, it it hinders everything, but um, thank y'all so much for uh, getting together and uh, really do appreciate it. And of course, all your work. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. You two guys and everyone sharing truth, doing the right thing, the good thing. Uh, yes. Yeah. It's a beautiful place out there. Anyway, I appreciate everybody being here. Thank you so much. And uh, unless y'all have anything else to say, uh, we're going to end it. No, until next time, guys. Yeah. Let's just stay in touch with uh, Facebook or whatever and then figure out another time we can do it in not too long. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. And peace within, what I like to say.
All right. Bye, guys.